Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I thought I'd show you guys how to make some really cool looking medieval uh, market stalls. Now I use these similar designs in my medieval town square time lapse video. Um, so if you haven't seen that, uh, check that out because I did a kind of cool range of different stalls here. But today I thought I'd show you guys. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, uh, today I thought I'd show you guys uh, just a couple kind of market store designs and how to build them. So as you can see here, um, you know, they're quite simple to build. I use my retextured walls here. However, if you don't want to use the res my resource pack, then you can just use fences. You know, it's not really a big deal. Although I just love using these logs because I feel like they make more sense for the size of the um, overall market store. Another thing as well is you can change out all of these materials so you might want to use oak logs like I've done here um, with the spruce fences or you might want to use dark oak fences with the dark oak logs it's up to you you know it's subjective um, so you can just make it look however you want. So as you can see here I've got a range of different materials which I use for my market stores so what I thought I'd do is just kind of build one on camera and show you guys kind of the process of building one of these stools. Um, the main trick to these is to use string in order to get this kind of supported wool um, look, which I really like. Uh, a lot of people use full wool blocks, but I personally feel those look a little bit too thick, depending on the market stool design. So I just like using carpets because you know it's it's got a good size in terms of the scale of the market stool. So I think for this one, I'm gonna go with um, a white, grey, lime green, dark green uh, market stool. So the first thing to do is to get your shape. Now I'm going to do a design like that, however it's very easy to kind of branch off and do other market stalls. You know, depending on how well this one goes, I might um, do one of those. So for these ones I tend to do a kind of 4x5, yeah 4x5 um, market stall square rectangular shape. On the back I tend to have a fence gate because obviously, you know, you've got to get into the market stall somehow. So I just do that and then what I do is I bring up the poles and that's literally all the wood so you know it's not very expensive to make, um, it's a very simple design. Now the next thing to do is to get your banners. Now for this one I want to use banners that represent the colours of the market store. So I'm, I like to do a kind of white, uh, in cases like these I like to do a white colour white. So in this I'm going to do like white, green, white like this. And then on top, now you don't have to do this, but I like to do it, it just makes this look a lot more flush. I add the corresponding colours above on the fence post, but using the carpet blocks, and I think this looks really good. Next you want to add the string just below the top layer. Now this allows you to place those carpets on top. Now this is a really good building trick that can be applied to lots of different builds. <clears throat> So next you want to add your carpet, now this is kind of, it's an odd process because you've got to, it's really hard to make it look right, but you just got to kind of go for it and it's something that you can mess around with later on. My trick is you don't want to have two colours next to each other, however in cases like this as you can see, um, it look, it's, it's diagonal patterns so I need to move this around, uh, so this will take, <laughs> it's, it's the most annoying part of making one of these is the um, carpet stage. In cases like this it's not so bad although I'm still gonna try and uh, sort this out. Let's see. We'll just do a dark green. That one looks okay. I'll add like a bit of green wall there and that's fine. So here you've got your market stall. Now you can do all details, you know, any details you want. Because I'm recording this in a single player world I don't have access to the head database plugin. Um, but, you know, as you've seen in my medieval, medieval uh, town square uh, tutorial, I have done, you know, you can do lots of details with uh, player heads and blocks and stuff. You know, that's up to you. Um, so I think what I'll do now is I'll show you kind of how to make a different type of stool. So we'll do like a diagonal one like this. Uh, these ones are kind of different to the others in that they are they can be a little bit more complex and confusing because you've got to kind of make the diagonal look right. So for this we'll do a, a yellow one. Okay, and we'll get the string as well. Right, okay, so we'll get the shape. I'm gonna build it here because I need enough room. So I tend to do that. So that'll be your side. And then what we'll do is we'll add the the fence and the fence gate and the uh, wall. 
So for these I would use fences for the walls but it doesn't really look right because it's a diagonal. Um, now you can use fences if you want but you don't have to. Again you don't have to use this specific design, um, it's all up to you in terms of the space you have available for your build. Okay so we've got the main wall here, I'll just have the poles. Okay, I'll get rid of the wood because I need to get the uh, banners. So for this one I'm going to use a mixture of different banner colours because it's a lot longer, it's a longer storefront. So I'll probably place white here and I'll do the dark grey there, yellow there and the grey there. And that looks okay, um, again this is something you can change if you don't like the look of it. Then we add the carpet on top, no you don't have to add the carpet in this case because it's a thicker top here, like it's an actual full block, um, but that's up to you. Now I'm going to add the string again. Um, I added it one block too low, there we go. <laughs> The string's pretty tricky to place because most of the time you can't actually see it. Um, now what we'll do is we'll add the yellow, uh, yellow wall carpet. Okay, this looks good. And then we'll add the dark grey. Add the light grey. Right, okay. So... Now I need to make sure this looks more randomised. So I'm going to probably go white there, light grey there, dark grey there. And then I'll add yellow, light grey, dark grey. Yeah, that, that looks okay I think. Yeah, I'm just going to go with that. Okay, so here you have a diagonal market stool. Now, I think that's pretty much it for the video. I don't really know what else to kind of show you guys because these market stores are fairly simple and again, you can make them look however you like. You know, you can do all sorts of designs. Like for example, I'll show you just one more because I may as well. I'll show you how I made that wooden stool. Now this one relies a little bit more heavily on my uh, blocks in my texture pack, but you know, you can, you can still make it using yours. I'll just use oak for the roof. So I just did a kind of diagonal shape like this. It's getting a little bit packed here now. And then I did a trim of slabs, making sure to open up that because that would be your, your kind of shop front. And I add these next blocks. And then, you can add a slab here, no you can't. Okay, and then I think it was a full block, so let's grab that. Yeah, there we go. And then you just top it off like that. And then you got a simple wooden stool design. Again, you know, market stools are very subjective, so you can build them to your liking depending on, uh, you know, what you want to uh, do in your build. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and uh, I hope you guys really like these designs, um, and I hope you guys can kind of expand on them and make them fit your builds a lot better. Um, anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff, check out the Discord, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!